one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Stereo back to D-Lab. This time on the bench we have a Browning 23S9 23 channel transmitter. It is not transmitting. I performed a visual inspection. I'm pretty sure I know why. Let me show you and we'll go from there. So here's the bottom side of the transmitter. As I was performing my inspection, I noticed something odd with the plate tuning cap. So I'll zero in on that. So there he is, right there. I noticed that the spacing was wrong on the cap. They're actually touching. In this case, it is broken. So I need to change that plate tuning cap and I bet you this thing will come back to life. So here's the access holes on the side of the chassis. This is loading and this is plate. And you can see the mounting screws for the plate cap. So I'm pretty sure the placement won't be too bad. And guess what? I have an original. This is an old Hammerland. Same value. Should drop right in. Alright, there's the new plate cap installed. Here's the old damaged one. I did have to slightly modify it because this one was a little longer but it went right in and now it's ready to test. So here's the test of the Browning 23S9 after repair. I'm going to transmit into this Palstar dummy load watt meter. We're going to monitor on the Kenwood R2000 receiver. I'm on channel 11. Hello, one two. Hello one. Hello one two three four. There we go. Always got that feedback to contend with, but she sounds good. No hum. I'm putting out uh, about five watts and modulating. It looks like up to about ten. And of course, you can see the modulation indicator. It's working. Hello, one two three four four three two one. One two three four four three two one. 